Let me start this video by telling you a joke. And uh, this joke is from my college days. So one of my professors was doing his PhD when he was still, you know, he was a, of the age of 40s. He was in his 40s and he was trying to do his PhD. So one day his uh, daughter came to college. Uh, she was small, three-year-old. So I asked, uh, what does your father do? Just, uh, just a joke. And she said, PhD, right? So we all started laughing, but jokes apart, 40 is not the age to do PhD, right? But hey, today's video is not about age for PhD, it's all about, it's all about why do you even need a PhD, right? So first things first, the chemistry industry is growing exponentially, we all know that. Whether you do a PhD or not, hardly matters, but why do you still need it? That I'm going to tell you. So. If, even if you don't do, you can progress in your career in uh, research in chemistry. But the moment it comes into two to three things, the first is age. See, at later point in time, you cannot you know, do it. Like when you are 35 or 40, you really can't change the direction of your career, right? You are done, whatever is done, right? So it's always wise to do it early if you want to do it or if you plan to do it. Because once you have a family and kids, you really have to earn. You can't go back to college and do your PhD, right? Okay, that's reason number one. But reason number two is even more important. You have to know that if you want to get into the industry, maybe they don't need a PhD. But if you want to get into the government, government jobs, which are more stable, more secure, and a lot of candidates want that, then you should do a PhD in chemistry. Okay? So... Let's say that 30 years or 40 years from today, you want to retire as the head of the, um, you know, chemicals commission or whatever uh, common body we have in our country, environmental commission. You want to retire from there as a chairman or something. Then you need a PhD because they won't be hiring you as MSc, right? So government has various departments has this degree problem, right? They want a degree in PhD, you know, PhD. So that is where you will lose. The first is later on you cannot do it. The second is you will lose out on the government sector. The third is MSc guy in chemistry who does work for four years and somebody who has done a PhD with four years. Okay. So he has no experience after PhD, but he has done four years of PhD. So this person will be getting half of the salary of that person. Yes, that's the truth. The industry also values your research more than your experience, right? So if you have done research in during your PhD, which is on a very good subject, very good topic, then your value automatically improves. And if you have done that PhD from a high-valued institute, then your value automatically improves. So that is the third reason. So yeah, industry will also value you more. Now the fourth reason is going abroad. Your chances of going abroad as a postdoc scientist is very high. And you, you can easily get a green card in US if you are a PhD with research experience in the industry because industries there are always looking for people like you. So this is the fourth reason. Now, I want to come to the fifth reason. But before that, tell me in the comment section, don't you think these four, three, four reasons are compelling enough to do your PhD? Now, the fifth reason, very important reason. See, you are thinking that PhD is a degree. It's a course. It's not. PhD teaches you how to be an independent thinker. PhD teaches you how to be a critical thinker, how to... Think creatively and solve problems. PhD teaches you how to work independently without anybody's support. And that is a very crucial trait of any professional. So th these things you can't learn in your master's. This comes after your PhD, right? So these five compelling reasons makes me conclude that if you want to do PhD, this is the right time to do more than ever. But hey, hold on. What subject you should do PhD? You should do PhD in chemistry in a topic which is interdisciplinary. You can't divide chemistry from physics. Can you remove biology out of chemistry? You can't. All the subjects come together. So you have to do a research or your PhD topic should be something where in which stands at the boundary of art, science and commerce. You have to stand at the boundary of science. You have to stand at the boundary of computer science and chemistry, cheminformatics. If you stand at that then your chances of getting a job in the future will be high. Your chances of going abroad will be high. Your chances of getting a respectable position in government or private will be high. So, chota matso. Don't think small. Think big.
okay don't think that today i don't require but what if 10 10 years 20 years later you will require it right that's where see when you were studying alphabet you never thought that you will need alphabet ever right but today without alphabet you cannot communicate right so that's where today right now you may feel that i don't need it but 20 years from today that will be helping you grow right and of course phd's are well sought after in the industry as well as academy as well as government as well as as a consultant as a freelancer yes so you have multiple opportunities ahead of you so how to get your phd now if you go and do your phd from a small institute no use you know what it's better not don't do it instead qualify csir net qualify csir net in chemical sciences and then go for phd in a suitable topic in a top notch research institution publish papers in high impact factor general first do high impact research then you publish in high impact re, uh, journals and then you see magic will come your way so what do you say and if you want let me repeat if you want to prepare for csir net chemical sciences rasayanika has it we have excellent coaching for csir net chemical sciences link is given in the description you can always go and check and enroll but remember time is less because the age limit for male candidates is 28 and for female candidates is 33 So do not waste time. Enroll yourself into CSIR and coaching at Rasayanika, and we will help you get your dream PhD in the dream institute of your choice. What say? Let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. It was wonderful interacting with you. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye bye.